Hey guys, how's hey guys, how's it going? Mike Martin's channel, Mike Martin's here. Uh, just want to make a quick review here on um, this one of my very fa favorite wines to drink, and it's called Gato Verde um, Green Cat Vinho Verde Gato. If you want to get technical, it's green wine, and it only comes from one place on the planet, and it's from the northeast part of Portugal. It's called Vinho Verde. Uh, you can look it up on Wikipedia. That's the only thing I think Wikipedia is right on, on everything they post. It's the only place in the world where you can get green wine like this. It's very, very non-fizzy, very um, smooth taste. It's beyond anything. I've in, in, in invited all my Colombian friends to try it over at my house one time. I got I had a few, had like a five or six bottles. I had a couple of friends from Mexico too try it. I had a... Uh, um, a few friends that didn't even know that the thing existed. Then I took them to the liquor store into the back part of the liquor store and it was in the fridge to keep it cool. And it's called green wine, Vinho Verde. It's so good. And the price is like eight bucks to 12 bucks a bottle. Uh, depending where you are, it might go up to 16, depending how far away you are from Portugal, but uh, exporting costs, right? I, I, I strongly recommend it. I, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but uh, when port wine, came about in the 15th century um, it was Portugal was the only place you could get port and rosé wine for, 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 for centuries and then other countries what they did is started adding like using science to create their own ports and um, using GMOs on the grapes and stuff uh, port wine only comes from the Douro region in Portugal so if you like port wine um, I strongly recommend to actually try port from Portugal uh, from the Douro region, anything eight years or older. Strongly recommend it if you like port wine. Then you could actually, if you're a big port drinker, you could know the difference between the grapes. You'll notice the difference of the acidity because the grapes are non-tampered with, as opposed to other countries that can't grow port wine, but they want to export port wine. They start using science, and it doesn't work. And that's why that land, in, uh, that land, those those acres of land, all those vineyards are very, very expensive and very pricey too, to purchase any real estate there because it's they're the originals of the wines like where they come from right so green wine Vinho Verde strongly 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 recommend it and I have an aged port here I think it's only five years I'll tell you right now what it is oh it's 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 a cheaper port it's Quinto de Castro and it's a vintage port um, it's it's nice. It's about thirty bucks, but there's better ports than this. Um, it's very decent. It's very, very. It's got the natural sweetness to it. Other ports from other countries outside Portugal just throw sugar, or evaporated the cane. They just add whatever to it to make it sweet. So basically, they just take wine, a bottle of wine, and add sugar to it and call it a port. But no, not this guy. Not this little guy here. Strongly recommend. It's about 20 percent alcohol, and it's unfiltered, which is really nice. So. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, there's some really good wines out there um, in the West here. Uh, Portuguese wine is kind of, but in Mexico, holy crap! You go to the Walmart in Mexico in Acapulco. It's all they have. The biggest section they have is, is Portuguese wine. It's the biggest. They have Batus. They have all the rosés that they make there in Portugal because uh, the ports are there. All the ports, all, all the Sidman, all the vintage ports are there, of all places, right? And then. Um, when I went over to um, Mexico, and then when I was in Brazil, of course Brazil, because they speak Portuguese, but there was other parts of the, of the world that I went to, like when I was in Thailand, in Bangkok. A lot of the uh, bottles and stuff, they have lots of Matus there. Matus is in every restaurant when I went there. Uh, I was seeing Matus everywhere, and, and uh, um, the port wines there were really popular. But anyways, I just thought I'd put this video out there because I, I do like wines, and I do go on wine tasting uh, trips been to the one in Niagara Falls, the one in California, uh, two of them in Portugal, one of them in Spain. I've been to quite a few of them, and I enjoy them. Anyways, I just thought I'd put this out there and let you guys know um, to give these, these wines a try. I promise you, you'll be actually impressed with the quality. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.